Lisa is going to meet the person who donated her convalescent plasma that helped save her life. Here oh, oh, you're kidding. There's Harriet right oh. there. Oh, I love that. I was diagnosed with COVID-19 on 4-7 and I started by Friday. That was on a Wednesday and by Friday, it was all Good Friday. I ended up having to go to the emergency room at Prisma Richland because I was in respiratory distress. As hard as I tried, I could not get air in past my clavicles right here. Dr. Husha walked into my room and he said, we have a donor for you. And uh, I, that was the best news. I, I can't even tell you. My heart just filled with hope. I knew that somebody cared enough to go and donate and try to give me their immunity to help me fight this wicked virus. And when I got your antibodies, I looked up at the bag and um, it was just a bag of gold, it looked gold. And um, I, I said, Lord, thank you so much for sending me this gold. And as it started to infuse, I could feel it working already in my body. Um, I'm getting teary-eyed just listening to your story, which I already have when I read your story. But um, I'm just so happy that I was able to help somebody. My story kind of started with my husband was diagnosed. And so because he was diagnosed, I was tested and I had was asymptomatic. So I had no symptoms. It's just hard to describe what it feels like to know that you saved somebody's life doing something that to me seems so simple. It just seems so easy to do. And I'm just so glad that I'm getting to meet you because I, when I read your letter, I was just so touched. What you did, you know, you weren't even, and here you are thinking of giving again, being selfless. I appreciate that so much um, because what you did saved my life. I know, it, I know that it did. I just was feeling like I was wearing out and that I couldn't keep fighting on my own. As uh, life would have it, today is our 30th wedding anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> May 19th, 30 years together. Yep. And see, see what else you guys did. <laughs> now he's stuck with me. <laughs>